Good evening, I'm Patrick Evans. Open Call Talent Project is an annual, enormously popular, sold out event at the McCallum Theater. For over 20 years, it has showcased local artists from the Coachella Valley and usually includes a competition element and a spectacular, original, full cast finale. Due to COVID-19, the project in its traditional form had to be canceled this year. But where there's a will, there's a way, and here we are. Tonight, we present the world premiere of Together, featuring this year's finalists. A big thank you to our presenting sponsors, the City of Palm Desert and the Commander Allen Fund, and all Open Call sponsors who generously support McCallum's arts education programs. And now, let's meet the performers. My name is Jules Burke. I'm 17 years old, and I'm a student and dancer with Xavier Varsity Dance Team. I've been dancing for around 14 years now, since I was three years old, and I discovered when I loved it when I started performing at my studio recitals and just dancing with the other girls and my friends from school. Yes, I love the girls in my team. Um, we have two seniors with me and mostly underclassmen, so they're super fun. Every rehearsal is like a party. We laugh all the time. When we're not dancing, you might catch us at Starbucks down Cook Street right next to school. Before we go out and compete on the stage, we always say leave it out on the dance floor and don't compare ourselves to others. Hi, my name is Rive Reynolds. I'm 57 years old and I'm an executive assistant. I started singing when I was a kid. Singing is a way to express myself in a way that is different and somehow more complete than any other way of expression and I find the art form challenging and so I'm interested in continuing to grow and develop it as a hobby. When I'm singing, the genre I choose is typically classical and from the opera repertoire. If someday I can sing well enough to bring justice to the pieces that the composers have written and to tell the story that the songs are intended to convey, then that would be a success. Hi, my name is Antoine Forehand. I'm 15 years old and I'm a student at Palm Desert High School. I feel that the performing arts should be a humongous part of everybody's life because it's, it's an output for your emotional feelings and you know just be something fun that you do and it's a great way to be creative. Um, my hat's just fun. <laughs> I like wearing fun stuff. I feel like putting some fun out there, being creative, allow for people and you to just cope with the harsh parts of the world. I just love playing piano, it's something that I can do. And I think a piano is special because it allows maybe a little more expression because there's so many ways you can play it. But I feel all instruments and all forms of art can express your emotions in some way. Hello, my name is Marianne Capitz. I'm 17 years old and I'm a junior at Palm Valley School. The feeling I get when singing on stage is exhilarating. As a vocalist, I'm really hoping to expand my repertoire and tackle much more difficult and challenging pieces. I'm definitely going to continue with music throughout my life. I would tell someone who's just starting out that it's going to be okay. It's all just a step at a time. You're not going to be perfect immediately. It's all about hard work and perseverance and anything you set your mind to, you can do. My name is Earl Mitchell, I'm 74 years old, and I'm a retired businessman and educator. Even though I'm retired, uh, I still stay busy. I'm the chairman for a small charity, Bella Youth Fund, and I love to sing whenever I get the opportunity. My favorite genre of music is standards. I just love all of the songs that come out of the uh, Great American Songbook. You can jazz them up, uh, you can slow them down, but you know, that music will live on forever. I give the same advice to young performers that I give to most all young people. Get as much education as you can. Sometimes I have to stop being a counselor, but, <laughs> but I think it's useful for young people to listen to older people who've been through it. My name is Jenna Wood and I'm 13 years old and Rachel and I are students at Palm Desert Charter Middle School. Rachel and I, for, since the first dance class we've been in, we have been performing together for about three years now. There's a lot of technique involved with tap, like there's simple moves that you learn like at the beginning. 
but then you put the moves together and you make really like intense choreography I'd say. It's a really fun upbeat style and I love like the rhythms I get to make and the sounds. It's so much fun. I think some people, they think it's like easy and they like try on my tap shoes and they're like, oh wow, this is like really hard. And I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs>、I'm、Luis Becerra, I'm 17 years old. I attend Cathedral City High School and I'm a member of the Coachella Valley Youth Ensemble. This ensemble only consists of clarinets and bass clarinets. It's a, it's a clarinet choir, so there's only the clarinet timbre. There's always a lot of energy whenever we play, whether it's just a little rehearsal or we're running through the whole thing, there's always energy between every single player. Oh, yeah, we're, we're definitely friends outside of clan of practice. What I would say is the most rewarding or stimulating for me would be seeing all the smiles and the joy that we give other people whenever we perform our hearts out. Whenever I hear positive comments about our performances, it just makes me want to continue what I'm doing because it just it feeds the positivity. I can never go without music in my life. It's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life if I can. Hi, I'm Angela Dallaire, and I'm 64 years young. I work in my husband's chiropractic office. I'm passionate about a lot of things. I like to garden, I like to songwrite, I like to bake, I like to cook. I'm just sort of like a country bumpkin girl. I'm just who I am. What you see is what you get. I think I first discovered I was a singer when I was about three or four years old.、Uh, I was always singing, and the neighbors were always saying, Wow, she really is a singer, isn't she? My goals for the future are to sing at Carnegie Hall. I really want to sing with a symphony yet in my life. That's always been a dream.、Uh, I'd still like to record.、Um, those are the things that are on my list. Hi, I'm Alana Romero, and I am eight years old, and I go to Ronald Reagan Elementary School. I have a talented voice. It sounds really <laughs> like at least jazzy and pretty nice and neat. I would want to be a singer on Broadway or be a doctor. When I have free time, I like to dance, draw, and make crafts. Also, to play with my Boston Terriers, Bussy and Heine. One of them is 15 and one of them is 9. I love singing because there could be a lot of meanings in songs. I'll never get tired of singing. My name is Emily Dorman. I am 12 years old. I go to Sacred Heart School and my dance team is from Dance Dimensions. So, lyrical is a mixture between ballet and jazz. And it's kind of a feel good style. It makes me feel happy when I dance it, and it just brings so much joy. Our group is very unique and different. We have some fierce girls and more shy girls, and we're just, we all have really big personalities, and we just are so comfortable with each other when we dance. Dance is a place where I can just let go of all emotions and just be who I really am. My name is Dan Westfall. I'm 75 years old. I've been singing for quite a few years now. I love singing, and it gives me a thrill to see the looks on people's faces when I am singing a song,、uh, if I'm playing a club someplace. Even at my home, and people come. I normally do a little show for them, <laughs> you know, <laughs> while they're there. I get out the old microphone and the music and, and, and sing a song or two for them, and it's, it's fun for them and fun for me because I'm a ham, as we say in the business. I'm a ham, and、uh, it's just a joy to make people happy with a song or with a joke. That is my goal in life. Every day I make a point to make somebody happy, some way, one way, or the other. My name is Christine Michelle. I'm 33 years old. I'm a full time mom and a singer of a cover band. I met Miguel about two years ago. We did a musical called Grease. He's one of my best friends and one of the most trustworthy people I've ever met. I know music means a lot to Miguel. I can just tell by the way he plays, it, it changes him. Music has always been. A part of my life since I can remember since I was a little girl, and it saved my life. The way I feel when I'm performing is 
I can't even describe it. I feel like I'm a totally different person. I mean, it makes me speechless even thinking about it. Hello, my name is Zach Bland small I. I'm 12 years old and I'm a member of the Palm Desert Charter Middle School Jazz Ensemble. Well, the jazz ensemble, it consists of the saxophones, the trombones, the trumpets, and the rhythm section. Our band, it's a great variety of people. We all have different personalities and with those different personalities, we're all happy, we're all upbeat. When we perform together, we're like a family. We're the second family outside of our family. If we don't know who to talk to, we talk to our family, our second family. Performing together has really just opened up a new gateway to new people. Well, as a band, we just hope that performing together, we can just go the extra mile, we can do the impossible, and we can just be the best group that we can be. Hi, my name is Abigail Carter. I'm 17 years old, and I'm a student at Horizon Independent Study. I have been in open call five times now. This will be my fifth time. I think that I've changed a lot as a performer over the years. I've been working pretty hard on just expanding my, my repertoire. I've learned to love the people that you're around, to make good connections with them, to be the best person that you possibly can be for others, and that it will make you a better person yourself. I just feel like I'm so much more comfortable because I'm letting the world see me as I truly am. And I'm trying to be a more open person in general. My name is Natalie Husha. I'm 17 years old and I'm a senior at Palm Desert High School. I started playing the saxophone seven years ago in sixth grade with the middle school band. I call my saxophone Tyrone. <laughs> my friend gave me the name and I stuck with it. The most important thing about the performing arts is that it gives people of all ages an opportunity to express the things that might be hard to say in other forms. In college, I'm majoring in music education. My mom is an elementary music teacher. She taught at my elementary school and started my love for music, um, inspiring me to play the saxophone and continue as a music educator. My name is Daniel Monolotto. I'm 18 years old and I'm a student at College of the Desert. The music I sing varies a lot. I tend to do contemporary musical theater if I'm performing. I do a little bit of Sinatra. I, I do a little bit of everything. A lot of my free time is spent singing, really. Whether I'm driving or just in my room doing homework or whatever, there's always some sort of music playing and sometimes it's background noise, sometimes I am just jamming out to everything and multiple different characters at once. It's Singing has always been a part of me and it's still one of my favorite things to do. It's how I spend my time whenever I can. I'm Dory Smith, 69 years old, retired communications executive. Tapestry, my group, is tapping. Our age ranges are 51 to 89, and yes, it's a lot. Sometimes I feel like I'm herding cats because I'm sort of the team manager. <laughs> we're a tapestry of different women, different careers. We were trying to come up with a name, and one of the women walked in one day and said, Tapestry, and we all went, that's our name. We love it. It's fun to dance in, in perfection and in rhythm with a group of women. Sometimes when we nail a dance, I feel like I'm flying. The greatest thing is that it's great for your brain. So yes, tap dancing keeps me young. Hi, my name is Isabel Martinez. I'm 12 years old and I'm a student at Palm Desert Charter Middle School. I met Glenn at piano lessons because our piano teacher is actually my grandmother. So when Glenn first started taking piano, and we kind of became friends because he was a fun, talented person. We actually have a motto that we like to use. It came from an Alfred book. It's always be sharp, never be flat. Because like, be sharp, be flat. <laughs> what I love about the piano is you can really express your own feelings about music through it and there are many different composers to choose from to play. For my future, I really want to become a pianist or a singer, just something that involves music because music speaks to me a lot. 
My name is Natasha Terrell. I am 13 years old and a student at John Glenn Middle School. Being a singer, it's a little difficult because sometimes you don't know if they're gonna like you or not, but you just gotta tell yourself that it's your voice, and if you wanna do it, just keep doing it. The type of voice I have is probably more of like a pop voice, but I sing different genres of music, so my voice can change on the different styles of music. I like to sing in the shower the most because it's just me and I can just try different things when I'm singing. When I sing, I feel really emotional because I'm putting all my emotions into all these different types of songs. When I grow up, I definitely want to pursue a career in music, but also I'd like to be a zoologist. How about that? A musician or a zoologist? I have no doubt that Natasha and all of the other finalists will achieve whatever they set their minds to. What an inspiring group of people. And guess what? We are now headed to the zoo. So we're on location shooting our music video of our 2020 Open Call Talent Project. Uh, we had 19 acts that had been declared finalists in March and we had just shot our beautiful vignettes at the theater and our headshots and all of a sudden we had to close down. So what were we going to do? It felt really uh, sad to not have an open call. So we quickly um, uh, rethought the project and thought about what is the most important thing with open call. Well, it is that the McCallum really uh, takes a moment to honor local artists. Of course, we're dealing with COVID-19 mandates, right? So we had to do this, making certain that people are not close and are not exposed to any uh, risks. The cast was asked to learn the song remotely. Once they learned the song, they were then asked to record their vocals or their musical instruments that they play, send me those audio files, and then those audio files were mixed with the orchestration. We're shooting over 60 members of talent over a two-day period out here on this lovely preserve, uh, which is owned and is part of the living desert here in Palm Desert, California. Right now we're doing uh, our green screen shots. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take all the dancers doing the last 20 seconds of choreography of the number, and we're going to drop them into this desert landscape via aerial drone. So we'll take a shot of the blank desert this actual plot from a couple hundred feet in the air, and then we will put in all the green screened dancers together and as they do the same choreography. I'm a cinematographer, so I'm the uh, director of photography. Today I am second shooter. So we have about, uh, about six different shots that we're trying to get for each different person. Yeah, I'm trying to get all of the close-up shots. We got a slider, dolly slider on one side, and then on the other side we have C-stands. We got uh, stationary camera here with a wireless follow focus. So as I'm moving around, we can uh, get some really smooth images. Generally, I am the choreographer director for the stage version. On this project, I get to be the choreographer. There's something very refreshing and lovely about being outside here in a beautiful environment that gives uh, all of the crew, but also all of the artists, a different sensibility when they perform, just being in the the beautiful landscape. Well, this has been a terrific experience. None of us have ever been in a music video. The um, Open Call team has been really great in terms of coming up with creative approaches to try to, to move the project forward. Being able to be part of like Open Call is such a big opportunity for us. I was beyond excited to do it again this year. And of course, things are Things are different. I really loved just seeing how all this, this great group around me improvised and put together a really cool show that I'm so grateful to be a part of. So, you know, we actually took uh, this six feet apart idea and used it to our advantage. So all of our performers are at a minimum of six feet apart and we're shooting every single act individually and we're gonna edit it together as if they're all there. This is kind of new for all of us who are used to working uh, in the theater, right? With live performance, film is a different medium, but we're working with professionals and everybody's learning a lot and our talent have just been amazing. That's a wrap! Woo! Woo! Well, for us, it's not a wrap just yet because this is the moment we've been waiting for. The world may have seemingly come to a standstill 
There's still plenty to worry about. In times like these, though, artists tend to find a way to celebrate the things that bring out the very best in all of us. Here are the 2020 Open Call finalists in Together.
that we share is moving us forward, is drawing us near. The stars high above us are guiding us home. And on this new day, we dance with hearts full of song. Together we sing a song. This program was brought to you by McCallum Theatre Education and KESQ News Channel 3. Thanks for joining us. Starting now, you can watch tonight's program or just the music video on McCallum Theatre's YouTube channel. From all of us at the McCallum Theatre and KESQ News Channel 3, have a great evening.